Hi guys, my name is Moses Amichi and welcome to my YouTube channel. And on this video, I'm going to be talking about five mistakes I made when I started photography. The first mistake was focusing so much on gears. And this is something that a lot of us do, a lot of beginner photographers do. When you go out sometimes with your beginner camera, I started shooting with a Nikon D3200 and I still use that camera to today. It's still, it's like a, an entry level or a beginner DSLR. I used to go out then to, I, I remember then I used to go out and I see some of those people with like the bigger cameras and I feel so intimidated. I feel less of what I own. And this is something that a lot of beginner photographers do. We begin to look down on the gears we own instead of focusing on using what we have. The truth is you might not be able to afford that gear you want, but you can still make something with whatever you have. There are a lot of amazing photographers out there using just their smartphone to shoot. So it doesn't really matter what you have. I know good gears will make your work better. Good gears will make your the creative process easy but you can still make magic with whatever you have so yeah that's number one the second mistake i made when i started photography was over editing my images and this is something that a lot of people do you know I, I remember those days i used to sit down spend so much time editing my image tweaking this color tweaking that color tweaking that color and you finish the whole editing process and you look at your image and you see that there are so much colors there's so much saturation there's so much vibrance there's so much clarity and you you don't feel really good about the image because you've spent so much time editing the image i think from a beginner level then i feel like oh wow this is good this is amazing but i've gone past that and these days i tend to keep my images just chill i don't really edit that much i just do something i just do something good i have like a basic color workflow i use for almost all my images so i don't spend so much time editing my image because there, there's something that they always say they always say less is better and that applies so much in editing images so always try to keep it less don't go around over editing your image the third mistake i made the third mistake i made was having one battery or not charging my battery so i'll start with having one battery so when i started when i got my camera when i started photography i had just one battery so i used to go shoot you know when i go shoot and my and i run out of battery that's the end of the shoot you know and this is something that a lot of people do or sometimes at home i don't charge my battery and i go to shoot maybe i just i want to go for a shoot i just plug in my camera and and i'm and i'm noticing that i just have one bar and this is something that i do a lot there when i started photography and i know that a lot of beginner photographers out there do this you know um you should, why why would you why would you say they are a professional photographer or you want to be a professional photographer and you have just one battery it's not making sense you know or you don't charge your battery so i think like i said i've grown past that you know that's why i'm making this video and i try as much as i can to like charge my batteries i have like two to three batteries you know it could take me like you know a day shooting you know because i use a nikon and it doesn't consume battery that much more especially if i'm just taking pictures so yeah that's basically it um and try as much as you can to always charge your battery the fourth mistake i made when i started photography was using auto mode so as a beginner when i started i really don't understand manual mode it was actually my friend choreographer who taught me how to use manual mode because the only thing i was the only thing i could shoot then was shutter priority and aperture priority i was this kind of person that learned photography from youtube like learning trial and error i didn't really really have like a formal training for photography so i was shooting on manual mode and i wasn't getting the best out of my camera until i met choreographer <laughs> that was like before like, like earlier before the pandemic and he told me that oh guy what's up let me show you how to use manual mode and this and that and this and that as he showed me i came back home i watched some little tutorials and he guided me with what he showed me and that's how i got better you know and that's you know ever since i started ever since i mastered my manual mode i can't go back shooting at auto because that's like unprofessional <laughs> so um as a beginner photographer try as much as you can to learn how to use manual mode you shouldn't be shooting on auto because manual mode will give you full control of your camera you can control your exposure your shutter speed your aperture it just makes your work easy for you last mistake i'm going to be talking about in this video was not having a workflow and not having a hard drive and this is something that a lot of photographers do and this is not just beginner photographers some people claim that they are professional photographers but they save pictures on their computer system which is something that you should not do I, I i was doing it then when i started i was saving pictures on my my computer system i didn't have a hard drive and sometimes i just those and and one thing you should know is that those raw files are quite heavy saving those raw files on your computer system will go a long way to harm your computer system performance it's going to slow down your performance because they are heavy and they are fooling your hard disks they are filling your hard disk space so try as much as you can to have your hard drive where you could save your work you know 
like professionally also um, like i said not having a workflow and this is something that i do then i'll just after shoot then what, what, what i used to do after shoot i'll just you know copy the pictures into like a folder and just open through photoshop and start editing you know that's not a right workflow until i i got to work somewhere where i learned how to use capture one and i started using the capture one slash photoshop workflow and this is some people use lightroom slash photoshop some people use Lightroom like um, capture one and photoshop but i feel for me um capture one and photoshop is the best workflow ever i'm saying it because that's what i use i'm just going to explain my workflow so fast i'm going to explain my workflow so basically what i do is after every shoot i create a capture one section for each client using their client name and after that um when i want to edit my photos on photoshop um before i take my photos to photoshop i do like a basic adjustment you know on my raw because it's good you do your basic adjustment on your raw because you know it's unprocessed and you have like more data it has more data for you to work with so i do my basic adjustment on capture one and then i open the picture i open my raw as tif so what i'm editing i still have my raw on i still have my raw file but i'm editing the image a second copy of the image like a duplicate copy of the image as tif on photoshop i don't want to sound too complicating i don't want this to be too complicated but this is basically my workflow i think i'm going to make a video talking about if you want to see a video if you want to see and if you're watching this video i want to see in an entire video of my editing workflow how i move my pictures from capture one photoshop just leave a comment below and i'm going to make that video so yeah this is basically some of the mistake i made when i started photography and i made this video just to enlighten every other photographer out there maybe a beginner in some media photographer so if you're watching this video what are your thoughts let me know in the comment section what are some other mistakes that you think photographers make when they started photography let me know in the comments if this video made sense to you kindly hit the subscribe button share this video to somebody and see you in my next video